Hey y'all, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be tackling the sunroom slash playroom slash mudroom. And I'm also going to throw in a quick little restock. Thank y'all for watching today. Here we are in the sunroom slash playroom slash mudroom. We just call it the sunroom because it's the simplest thing, but it serves many purposes. And Oliver is here just picking up the shoes because that is one of his chores. And I am getting ready to show y'all a quick little restock that I had did the night before. And it was just the easiest place to throw it in at before I started cleaning. This is a Walmart restock. Walmart is the closest place to me where I can get the items that I need for the best price. When I need, you know, just a small couple little things, I can get them at the Dollar General, but the best price is Walmart. Here is some lavender low splash bleach. And then I got some Tide Simply All in One, the max value. I really like this detergent. It's my favorite detergent. And then we're going to go on to the back here, and this is some Windex. And then I have some Myers. I already have some Myers here, but it was concentrate, and I didn't realize it was concentrate. And I kept wondering why it was sudsing up so much, but, you know, that's why. Then I got some white vinegar. I love using white vinegar for our cleaning and also for cleaning our fruits. Got some aluminum foil. Some great value dishwasher packs. I wanted to give that a try. And um, I hadn't never used them before. And I got some great value dish soap. I'd been using a different brand and want to try something different. Got some Lysol tub cleaner and some hairspray. Also got some conditioner and some deodorant. I picked up another little squirt bottle. I like to use this just to put water in or um, mixing up different concoctions. Sometimes I like to do like a bleach in water, but that one was specifically for my kids' hair, so it would just be water. Picked up some cookies, and I had already taken a couple of them out of there, <laughs> broke the seal, and some cupcakes. And here we are back in the sunroom, ready to get onto some cleaning, but first I wanted to do a quick scan showing you what was going on here in the room there was definitely a lot of things out of place that needed to be put back away but the main thing i wanted to tackle in this room today was the dust and the clutter um, not the clutter but but well, the clutter too but the dust and the floors because those are the two main things that i have a hard time keep, keeping clean in this room this is one of the rooms that we come in and out of the most
when I'm editing these videos, I can see that I'm going back and forth, back and forth a lot, you know, picking up piles of stuff and taking it and putting it where it goes. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I should just grab a basket and dump all those piles in it as I'm going around the room and then I'll take it and put it where it goes. But then I would end up having to do that after I got everything cleaned and I'm not sure I would want to do that. I know I'm not the only person whose brain works like this. I was actually watching a short video the other day of a house cleaner and she was saying that it takes us much more time to clean our own houses than it does if we're cleaning house for someone else. And it's true. Um, and her point was that when you're cleaning someone else's house and they have a pile of papers or clutter on the counter, you just take all that clutter, you put it in one spot, you clean underneath of it and you clean all around it instead of taking it and putting it where it goes because it's not your home so you don't know where all those little things go but at your home if you have you know a designated spot for it or me here at my home if I have a designated spot for it my brain just thinks okay I gotta go put that where it goes right now so yeah anyways we're gonna get uh, to dusting with this duster here and I wanted to go ahead and point this out because you're gonna see this duster fly off there's number one several different times while I'm dusting with it and what happened was when I was putting it on the little stick there it ripped and so it just kept wanting to fall off and <laughs> I kept trying to make it work but it was really frustrating so we're just going to do a countdown how many times it take me to finally get over it and change it so there was the first time This space here is my kids' play area. This is a, like the classics area, I guess. We have a barn with farm animals, which is a classic. It goes for both boys and girls in most age groups. We have Legos in this area. We have Lincoln Logs in this area. And then the gaming system is in this area. We have a DVD player here that hooks to the TV where you can watch DVDs and then we also have internet on the TV so it's just a it's a space that my kids like to be in my daughter especially likes to be in it my son not so much anymore because he's older he does like to sit there and play his game sometimes but he also prefers to take his game wherever and play it because it's a switch but my daughter really enjoys playing back here and when we have kids over they like to play back here too because it's just a, a fun little spot it has like I said all the different um, classic toys in it uh, most of the personal items are in their room personal items being like their own personal activities you know there is a, a huge age difference between my children they are Ava is four and Oliver is 12 so they have different things that they like to do so in Ava's room she'll have all the things that she likes to do all her girly stuff especially kitchen baby dolls Barbie dolls dress up 
And then Oliver has the activities he likes to do in his room, which he doesn't really play with anything anymore unless it's sport related, um, a video game or instruments. He really is into instruments. So he likes to um, play different instruments and he has all that stuff in his room. We're about to jump back into some dusting over here. This room has to be dusted so much. Well, that's what I was already doing on all those toys. I was wiping dust off of them. Um, yes, I mean, I guess it's for sanitary purposes too, but everything in this room gets more dust than the average room because of the wood stove. Wood stove produces so much ash and dust. And if you have a wood stove, then I know you relate. Or if you burn, um, you know, a wood fireplace, then I know that you relate. If you relate, let me know your struggles because, you know, when I see people's fireplaces on social media, they look perfectly clean and there is not, um, there's not ash and dust everywhere. That, that's just not reality. And over here on this channel, I just plan to show reality. There goes the second time on the duster. The It literally flew across the room. <laughs> That thing was making me so frustrated. I'm telling you, it was a pain. I should have just changed that thing from the get-go because it was driving me crazy. And I should have known it's just going to keep flying off there. But I didn't. And I just kept right on trying to work with it, trying to be frugal, trying to not be wasteful. And there it goes, the third time, behind the TV, all the way behind the table, down to the ground, had to dig it out. And at this point, I'm done. I'm over it. I'm like, nope, no more. And I finally change it. And after that, it worked so much better for me. And I didn't have to worry about it no more the rest of the day.
Welcome to the dust factory. This is my wood stove and yes, it is very dusty and ashes all over the floor and it is just what it is. It's very hard to keep clean and if you have a wood stove or if you have a fireplace, please tell me that you know the struggle. I won't complain about it because there are so many benefits from it and I love the cozy feel that comes from it. It's just the most comforting and I just wanted to show the reality of it. If you don't have wood or burn a fireplace, then you don't know this, but if you do have it, then you do know it. And I'm sure if you stayed on top of it, like constantly, it could be kept more clean, but I just don't have enough hours in the day to stay on top of it constantly. I sweep this area right here multiple times a day, but I cannot do it every second of the day. You're going to see throughout this video that even after I sweep and mop this area, it still looks like there's something on the ground there. But that's because when you open the wood stove up and you're loading the wood in, sometimes ashes pop out on the ground. We used to have something that was on the floor there. So if the wood did pop out or the coals did pop out, that it wouldn't hit the floor. It would hit that, it was like a metal sheet or something. I don't know what it was called. And uh, my husband had to move it for some reason. And we never did put it back. We had some different ideas we want to do back here anyways. And um, hopefully, you know, one day the funds will be there to get it done. But until then, we just be content and happy with what we have. And be grateful that we have um, heat. We, we do also have central heat. But if you noticed, um, as I was showing you different, different places of the room, this room is filled with windows, so they leak a lot of air, and you probably seen that there was tape on some of the windows, because they just leak a lot of air. So having this wood stove back here is very important. I'm just going to bring my hand vac back in over here for this job because it works really good to vacuum up all the ash and the pieces of wood. I was showing you there at the end, the end piece had been broken. and it had to be replaced. And I'm also going to use this bowl of water. There's no chemicals or anything in it. It just has um, water and I'll use water and a rag to wipe down all the dust after I vacuum it up.
Now I'm just going to use this non-toxic vinegar and water mixture and some paper towels to clean the glass off on the wood stove. The only way you see those pretty flames through that wood stove is to have that glass clean because there's like a black film that gets stuck on it. So that has to be cleaned regularly, like daily, if you want to be able to see the flames through it all the time. And I do not do that every day. But since I was cleaning the wood stove, I decided I'd go ahead and get that cleaned up so I could see a nice flame for a little bit. Social media romanticizes everything. They want to make everything look aesthetic. And the truth is, life is not romanticized or aesthetic. If you're finding yourself watching people's videos, looking on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, well, I don't even know all the social media stuff. If you're finding yourself looking on those things and feeling discouraged because everybody's life looks aesthetic, I want to encourage you to take a break just stop watching it even if you're watching my channel and you're feeling discouraged because of something that's going on that you're seeing on my channel or anyone else's channels take a break i'm telling you to take a break because i too have to take breaks sometimes i'm telling you this from experience there are times that i've watched other people's channels and I was really encouraged by what they were doing but I wasn't able to do what they were doing and so then I got discouraged because I wasn't able to keep my house as clean as they kept their house or I wasn't able to buy the things that they were able to buy. Social media really gets inside people's heads and it can really take a toll on people's mental health. So that's why I encourage you to take a break. When I'm feeling discouraged or mentally strained, I find my most peace by praising the Lord or worshiping the Lord or getting in His Word and reading His Word. And so many times when I've had those feelings of discouragement or mental strain and I get inside God's Word and I read it, He encourages me to, you know, to move forward, that there's hope and Life's hard. It really is. But with God, He helps us to understand it so much better. He helps us to have a greater understanding of why we're here, what our purpose is here. If you're struggling with any of these feelings today, I want to encourage you to put on some praise and worship music or sit down and read your Bible for a little bit and spend some time with the Lord. Jesus loves you and He has a plan and a purpose for you. He loves you more than you could ever, ever know.
this has been a really long video and it's not quite over yet there's still plenty more left of it it took me a really long time to clean this room almost three hours but um as i edit these videos i feel the need to bring encouragement a lot of times and that's why in a lot of my cleaning videos and i have the time to talk to you i try to encourage you because when i watch other videos in the things that I have watched in my past or that I watch sometimes now I don't I don't really get encouraged you know I it, it sometimes is discouraging and um I just didn't feel like social media needed another channel that showed perfection or how everything was aesthetic I felt like you know maybe maybe we just need some reality there are some channels here on YouTube that I do find encouragement from and I especially felt more since I have started this channel because I've connected with some other ladies who really bring me a lot of encouragement. There's very few people, there's like four channels that I can watch right now that when I watch them, I don't feel less than. I feel, you know, like I am who God created me to be. But there are some channels that I can watch and when I watch them, I'm like, man, I am failing at life. <laughs> so maybe it's just what we're watching. Maybe it's like the wrong side of YouTube that shows those things. I don't know. Let me know your opinion. I don't know what you can actually make out from looking at this window from your view. But because the sun is so bright on and the windows that we were just looking at in the the last clips. But the windows are very dirty and they really need to be cleaned very much this window right here was recently replaced so it had a lot of dirt because it wasn't a brand new window it was like a window that had come from another building or house or something and we just reused it in our own home because we had busted windows um but it had a lot of dirt and dust on it on the outside and the inside and it hadn't been cleaned yet and all the windows are like that like I said, it took me almost three hours to clean this room, but I didn't get to everything. I did not get any of those windows cleaned. And I didn't get my ceiling fan cleaned or the dust off of the ceiling. I'm happy and content with the cleaning that I did get done because I've had times that I've not been able to do any of that cleaning. No deep cleaning. This was kind of, kind of a deep cleaning, but it still wasn't like the deepest clean because I didn't get everything cleaned. But I've had times before when I couldn't, you know, clean no more than like 30 minutes because of, you know, being sick or, or pregnancy. Oh my goodness. You know, when I was pregnant, especially like the latter parts of pregnancy or the beginning parts of pregnancy, your body just can't handle those things or my body could. And it was all that I could do to just manage basic tasks. And then I've had other times too that, um, you know, like different sicknesses, flu and COVID and stuff like that, and you can't do it. But I've had health problems, like major health problems with my body. I've had digestive problems that caused me to not be able to work like I want to work. So if you have health problems or you're sick or you're pregnant and you can't do these things, trust me, it's normal.
I've been thinking a lot about a posting schedule and um, like a content schedule. And I think I've decided a short-term decision to just post once a week. I'm going to post on Fridays at 9 a.m. And I'm going to rotate my content. I'm going to rotate between cleaning content and kind of day in the life videos, I guess. And then once I become more familiar with my editing and the type of, you know, content people are wanting to see and just more comfortable with what I'm doing. It's not really about what people want to see. I'm, I'm not just going to make videos based off of what people want to see. I'm going to do what makes me happy too. And that's why I'm not going to just do cleaning videos. Uh, I really like to cook and there's, I like to be outside with my family. I like to garden. There's several things that we like to do and I can't just do all cleaning videos. The cleaning videos are actually the hardest videos for me to do because they take a lot of time to film and they take a lot of time to edit. It literally takes me a whole week to edit a cleaning video. Thank y'all so much for spending 40 minutes of your time with me. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Remember to serve the Lord with your whole heart and to serve your family. See y'all next time.